Snow has fallen all across the state and the plows are out clearing those roads now. Right, we have Presley Fowler from CDOT on the line right now. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thanks for having us. Yeah, as you mentioned, our snow plow operators have been on a full snow shift since yesterday afternoon. So, uh, you know, they were going through the night to make sure that the roads were as cleared and safe as possible for this morning commute for anyone who does have to be out. All right, Presley, if you don't mind, uh, you were talking about some trouble spots earlier that you guys were monitoring out for. Has your team been able to spot any this morning? Yes, there, there have been some trouble spots. Uh, right now, uh, I-25 southbound at Larkspur, uh, there's a jackknife semi-trailer. Um, mm -hmm. And we've just been seeing some issues on that area of I-25 throughout the morning. Um, you know, so if you're going that direction, just use caution and, and go slower. Uh, the roads, you know, are looking pretty good. And, and like I said, we've got our plows out there uh, making continuous passes, but uh, there's still going to be some slick conditions and snowpack. So that's one of the troubled spots. Um, I-76 from Sterling to Nebraska is closed in both directions. Um, and then the I-70 mountain corridor, uh, we have, you know, passenger traction law in effect. So make sure that if you have to be out in the roads and you're going that way, um, you have proper snow tires and uh, your vehicles prepared for those conditions. It's really all hands on deck for a storm like this, Presley. Um, talk a little bit about how when these plows are coming through, they're also dropping de-icer in a lot of places as well. Yes, absolutely. It's you know more than just the plows on the roadway. We have those materials that are being dropped at the same time to help break through that snowpack mm -hmm. and the ice. And so that's part of what our, our plow operators are doing as they're making the continuous passes on the interstates. And the first focus is the major interstates. Uh, so, you know, I-70, I-25 and, and interstates um, like that. And then you're going to move on to the secondary routes once, once we get the um, major interstates cleared. And Presley, from our crews who've been roving around the metro area and from even our early morning drive before 3 a.m., it does look like a lot of people are on the roads this morning. Maybe they have to get to work or, you know, run some errands or whatever they might have to do. What is your advice for anybody who does have to, in fact, get outside this morning? Yes, absolutely. We, we realize that some people may not be able to telework or, you know, you may have to be out on the roads today. Uh, if you can limit travel, that is the best suggestion. But if you do have to be out, make sure you slow down, uh, you know, just go, go below those, those speed limits because there could be some slick and icy areas, even though the plows are out. Uh, the road conditions can change quickly, so just be aware of that. Um, especially on the I-70 mountain corridor. Uh, make sure you're leaving plenty of space between you and other vehicles, and that's especially the case when you see our snow plows. Stay back three to four car lengths from those snow plows and don't pass the plows. It's a safe place to be behind the snow plows as, you're, as we're clearing the roadways. Yeah, absolutely. And just make sure that your, your vehicle's prepared for those conditions. Yes, absolutely. Good advice. Also, be a, a courteous driver. You might feel comfortable, but somebody else may not on the road. You don't want to scare them. Yeah. All right. Presley, Great thank point. you so much.